Jesus, that's a lot of stuff that was here. Gimped by shaming, though. Apparently there's a chance that they can pick up a negative trait and stuff like that, it seems, but... Um, yeah, he'll drop in level a ton. But we can always buy levels for him or give him a mission to assassinate some guy and help him out with that. Like, we can grind him back up. What a power stance. Oh, he's riding a Karagor. Okay. I thought he had like a big like kilt skirt thing on and he was just in a super power stance. Uh, for zero experience? Uh, and going for, you know, uh, you know, I think I pass on that. Let's go for conquest maybe. Last time I helped him out with the resource raid, uh, it didn't go too well. I'll pass. Grab some arrows. And, uh... Yeah, alright. Looks like a nice little shortcut this way. Zoop. But yeah, I assume to reduce the iron will. I assume there's a pretty good chance of it being taken out when you shame a dude, so you don't like bring them back down to level 1, basically. Although, if they were level 1, I mean... I guess that after a certain point, they'd get so weak, you'd almost one-shot them. <laughs> so maybe that does become a bit of a problem. This fortress oh, yeah. remains secure, yet you seem unnerved. Our army is proof that no fortress is truly secure. Got all my dudes hanging around. Hey, hello, dudes. I betray you. You are right, too. Oh, I intend to serve you until I die. But I intended the same with Sauron. I can promise you loyalty. But how could you believe me when I've already betrayed one master? It is a very interesting situation. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> how dare you bring that up after what just happened? Uh, bit of conquest. Fortress and shark burrs and Nuranen is yours. Yet this is only the first battle of the war for Mordor, and more fortresses remain to be captured. Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. The thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts, so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. And don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. Oh, Shrock. I forgot to fill Ranger's feeding bowl before I left. Well, he's gonna be cranky if I don't get back. I'm coming, Ranger! Online conquest. Hmm. Launch attacks against other players' fortresses. Uh, hmm, yeah, nah, probably no. Bolster our own defenses as well. Powerful war chiefs and siege upgrades will strengthen fortress. Other players won't affect your orcs or your fortress in the game, but defending well against their attacks can improve my rank. Hmm. 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 Yeah, pass probably. So, can we then finally back out to other areas? No? Okay. Nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, fine. What quest do we have there?
Every fortress has a training ground, but there's nowhere better for an orc to hone his skills than the fight pits. No one who knows more about the fight pits than Bruise. Sure. I'm sad about my bodyguard. Speaking of, I need to assign a new bodyguard. How about... How about Booth? Booth. Booth, you want to be my bodyguard? Yeah, he's hyped about it. Ah, oh, he's so excited. All right, don't betray me, Booth. I will Break fucking annihilate you. Indeed. Let us hope we can get a seat. Why is the one circle empty? Probably some dude who died and hasn't, uh... Replenished yet. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done him in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. A category. Go, what's his butt? Go! Hey, I do want sparts of thin. Good. Good morning to you as well. Wow, you just. Are you like immune to all damage right now? Seems a bit BS. I'm not sure how I feel about having a, a, a dude throwing bones from on top of a Karagor. I'm pretty sure we're hacking. Hey, level four? Okay. Where'd you find him at? <laughs> Wasn't that a good time? Grog was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. Alright, sure. Of course, online fight pits too. Now that you control the region, can send your followers to fight in the pits. Followers who survive will increase their level. To send a follower, go to the Fight Pits mission start point. Three fights of increasing difficulty in each region, with victory in unlocking in one unlocking the next. Victory in all three unlocks Citadel upgrade for the region's fortress. You can also make two followers fight each other by commanding them from the army menu. This creates a Fight Pits follower mission. So can I rig the fights then? Probably not. The defeat the increasing difficulty thing. It just make it not a thing anymore. <gasps> Another region. Two new regions. Three new regions. Holy shit. Okay. Ah, uh, now I can go back to this first one. Dark Bastion level 40. Like, go and sweep it real quick. Okay, good, good. And challenges as well to sharpen skills and earn rewards. Challenges in the quest menu. Yeah, okay. Kill an Overlord for a 21 Legendary gear. Nurn and Defenders for a, a thousand money and three... Polished gems. Oh. Okay. Travel Warband Outlaw. 
Rampaging Cars Mordor in a bid for absolute supremacy, led by epic and legendary orcs, dominate and recruit powerful enemies, bolster my own ranks or kill them to gain high quality gear. Legendary orcs give you a piece of the outlaw legendary set. There's also the Slafter. Right. The two DLC uh, tribes. Get in there. Captain from the Outlaw tribe, tribe seeking a worthy opponent. Let's go for it. Let's try this out and see how it goes. What's the matter, Tark? Your fancy cloak and fancy blade, no good against a full-blooded Uruk. On. First one already epic and also level 21. It's a bit scary. Immunicurs and beasts, enraged by frost. He's a marksman with quick shot. Uh, decreases all curse damage received by himself and his allies in sniper shock and fire upon enemies from great distances and never misses. Excuse me. Stand aside and no, you stop that. Die, die. So we're not really fighting in the I ring at all. And I can summon shit. So that's kind of cool. I got an archer friend too. Whoops, my bad. Jesus Christ, poor dude. Combo wombo. Get out of here. Just don't even give him a, a chance to fire. Give me that. You gave me a hammer too, that's good. Me, my new bodyguard? He would have been maybe a pretty okay bodyguard. I don't know his weaknesses though. Unless I know their weaknesses, I think I'm gonna pass on that. I got enough dudes who can be one shot. <laughs> <laughs> they lack the Don't feel too good about it. The elves, yet they persist in flinging arrows our way. Level 21 foe hammer with eight throws. Oh my god, so good. Um, Charge throws damage nearby. 33% chance that a headshot curses enemies. Would that curse the whole AoE? Don't know. And then 42% increased range damage to cursed enemies. Hell yeah. Absolutely, dude, I got the hammer back. I like the hammer. And then, don't I have already... No, Darkest Cloak. Bright Lord's Armor. Oh, that was Bright Lord's Bow just done. Gained Wrath 50% faster, but Elven Rage lasts half as long for the two-set bonus. Which would be really good with the thing where um, I get more wrath quicker, but it gets lost if I get hit or miss an attack. Because that would mean that just like two or three hits and I can jump into an execute. And you say the curse can AoE then? Oh my god. That's disgusting. That's, that's a pretty cool find then. The Bright Lord said I might might consider going with that that wrath attacking thing from before mix it in with a bit of health recovery on execution and just keep going for it but nah that's okay all right and that's just basic cloak Uh, terrorize an enemy to reduce the duration of curse, I assume, on me by 
But I like the increased damage dealt by beast allies. I'm not getting rid of that. I refuse. I'm gonna hang on to that. No change. So long as they miss. What's this? Who's fighting here? Oh, fight pits. Ah, or online fight pits. <gasps> Moog! Moog, where you at? <sighs> Moog gets priority. I'm taking Moog back. Oh yeah, that's but that's Moog's work, all right. An execution. Let us turn the executioner into the condemned. That's his handiwork. I can tell. Oops. That's not an execute. Yeah, I'd run too. That's pretty terrifying going on back there. Sounds like somebody is shooting a gun. What? It's like some orc with a bolt action rifle. How's that fair? Hey Mook! I don't extra light to end makes no difference to me. Bonk. Bonk. I see opportunity there. On the wall. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, sure. No, that works. Sure, I can. I basically, like, grew you and forged you. You are who you are because of me. I can unmake you. Every single time we go through this. You're getting even weaker. Don't do this to yourself. He still got it? Will I get like a notification if, um... Will I get a notification if he loses the trade or do I just have to like keep checking? <laughs> He's Poiple now. Seems okay. Looks like he's lost it. Moog, I'm coming for ya! The fight pits can wait. And dude, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's like New Game Plus in this region. Uh, Yeah, fast travel down here. I can fast travel back up to the pits and finish those off. Because I do want to see what happens when I polish off the fight pits. Mentioned something about some upgrade, but I don't 100% know what it means by that. So, we'll see. Moog the Unashamed? You've changed your name. So you're level 23. I'm only level 20. I'd still have to shame your ass. Uh. Oh. Moog. Alright. Well, he hasn't noticed me, has he? I'm about to just vanish out of him. Fuck. All right. Well, let's go back to the fight pits, though. 
Well, I'll level up and take on Boog then, because I'm not going to shame him again. Oh, send my follower into the fight pits. Oh. Yeah, no, Moog's, Moog's 23, I'm 21. I gotta level up a bit. Uh, but wait, can I just command... Yeah, okay, nah. The Beast Butcher, then. Training orders? Nah. Oh wait, this... These are scrolls. Holy shit, those are scrolls. There are a lot of things in here. I had no idea. Okay. Wow. Uh, but no, apparently not through there. Let's go to the mission objective and see what that wants me to do there. Nyom. So graceful. <laughs> That's a lot of character down there. It's a traitor. Die with me. Break his arms. Excuse me, what? Did I terrify dudes? I don't even know what it means by terrify. But apparently I did do something. So I can upgrade it. Which annoyingly automatically consumes the one upgrade that it's got, and then it'd be increased range damage to cursed enemies. Which means that if I just spam headshots on people, I think I'm still just gonna upgrade it. I'm doing it now. So I can just like spam headshots on people and uh potentially do huge damage. Hi. Of your kind last night. Young Gondorian invader cried for his mother. Who will you cry for? Arsaku. Seeks you out no matter where you hide, summoning reinforcements to hem you in. Hunting horn when he's caught your trail nearby orcs join his hunting party and track you down. That's kinda cool. And he's strong. Mm. Mm. He's also quite large. <clears throat> so, what do we got? A rat hack a blood licker, level 15? That it? Killed instantly by beast attacks? Really? Really? Yeah, don't say. When they act big, no, a goob I have to kill next. Bye. Can I want to get a screamer and just have him for the uh, all of these fights. So always they just scream. I am your doom. Someone blow it off me. Hmm. Okay. Death and slaughter. Love the bleeding. I expected a bit more out of these beast attacks. It's doing basically nothing to him. Oh, 
Oof. And from behind knocked him off, his character is down. But like, you're level 15, I can't imagine you do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, a bit, but not a whole, whole lot. Would you please get rid of the second Karagor? Just bop it on its nose or something. Punishment time. Whoa. There you go. You just had to hit him like a couple times with your bone. Man, that was like way closer than it needed to be. Dude, you're making me nervous with the... Alright. So there's that. Next up. Fight pits maggots again? Okay. I thought I'd be fighting in the fight pits. So this is stage two, I think. Terrified of spooters. Dazed and shot in the head. Damaged by ranged execution stealth attacks. Fireproof, enraged by burning. Final blast. He throws cleavers. He's got mines and bombs. You're gonna suck to watch the AI fight against. You're gonna suck big time. Booth. A bit of range oh, on range. Nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> you don't look like you could defeat a category pop. I am your doom. Oh, missed. Let's blow this up. Move over there. Just a couple hits. Kill, kill everything for the Ooh, you're so fucked. <laughs> no chance at all. I thought he'd like maybe attempt to get a bit of distance at all whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. Turns out that's not the case. Who that? Oh, Goon, hey! Avenge! <laughs> Sup? Damn it. My right clicks are like just off. Did he just say he can't kill us all at once? You're like a candle to him. You're brightly glowing, warm and inviting. And then he snuffs you out. Now wait for the slaughter. <laughs> Yoink. Serve me. I will serve you. Yeah, some other dude just stepped in and did the talking for him. <laughs> uh, stay and fight for me for a bit. Hang out. Enjoy. He's a Berserker man, so I'd like Berserker mans. Oh, 50 bucks. So...
So who will they fight now then? Because now it's somebody different. Did you hear that? It's an elf lover. You will be butchered. Who dat? Ushak the Terror. Terrified of stealth, soft target, vulnerable to execution, sickly, fear of pinning. This is my type of dude. Gang of archers, war banners, reinforcements, all sorts of garbage for arenas. I, I can see about putting the new dude in. Goon the Grinder. Are you up for it? Look, Goon, if you win this, if you win this, I'll give you tasty, tasty points and upgrades and stuff. Care to try your hand against me? What you think about that? Oh, 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 I'm feeling it now. Who wants a try? If it's a straight up melee fight, Goon should win on account of the level difference. But it depends if this dude who like rallies allies and all that stuff actually gets a chance to do any of that stuff. Seems like it's generally no problem because he's not doing any of that. Hey, good deal. Good work, Gooned. So. Well done. Level 21 now. I want to... Garrison. Training orders. Well, no, there's an easier way of doing it, wasn't there? If I, like, select... Whoops. If I select Gund, I can give him orders and throw him into training or something like that, I think it was. Gund. Yeah, and training orders. And then I see just what they're allowed to do. First weapon, an Olaw gang. Savage gang. You can't bring that into the pits, though, can you? It's like, it's like a UFO after a mad dog to fight, but longer. It's completely fucking random a little bit. <laughs> archer gang, warrior gang. I mean, generally an archer gang to be pretty legit while you're like tying them up and dazing them and all that. Archer's just picking on them. But I don't think you can bring that into the, the arena with you. I'll try it out. And that has locked off the others. It hasn't. What, can I give him just all of the gangs and he just has like his own fucking army of dudes? That can't be right. It should replace it, right? Effectiveness of nearby archers would work out for that. I think I would want to give you the at least health. He's probably going to fucking betray me now. Yeah, that's okay. I just need him for arena fights. <laughs> that's it. He's my he's my little gladiator. <laughs> Flammable beast fodder. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Trickster though. Mm. Okay. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Though I think I've said that before. 
want me to rip your spine out? Give me someone proud. I do like it when they're proud. Well, he does have his archers with him down here. I feel a bit like he's just throwing the match. Very showboaty, this. Just attack him. I don't care if you got the archers around. Just, a, just attack the dude. Just get him. There you go. What an epic showboater, this guy. That's disgusting that he gets his archers with him in the in the arena, though. I don't think that should be allowed. <laughs> Another one? How many of these are there? I thought they were scaling up. I mean, it's a one-time reward skill point. I thought it was like a, the progressively harder thing. So it's like one skill point per tier. But no, I guess it's just a, just a permanent thing, I guess. Maybe we need Fight Pits Warriors and then that unlocks the next one. Maybe that's what's going on. Are you... okay, level 25 now. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. Triple strike. Hmm. Hmm. We'll try it. I think he's going to get his ass rocked. You look like you'll be a boring fight. I always get the boring ones. I got so much more pain to give. I'll have your head. <laughs> Archers, do something. Archers, please. Attack him now. Attack him. Maybe attack him. Perhaps attacking him. Dazed him. Yeah, sure. And then... Uh, and then he... Yeah. That didn't do much damage. Don't cheer. Don't be proud of that. Into the trap. Yeah! Archers, please. Go, 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 go! Nope. GG. Just because he just fucking sits there and showboats for ages. Man. So bad. It's so, so bad. Cool thing, but it's gonna be ridiculously frustrating based on just, like, the complete RNG of it all. You don't give up so easy. Select the right goddamn guy. Grr. Stealth. Whoa. Just need him in the hip. <laughs> that's it, that's all. I'll take the cloak, thank you very much. 
Aua. Alright. So, that's that. Yeah, I... Yeah, no, I, I got that. Thank you, game. A little bit of health. Alright. So main stuff here. Is there much? I mean, there's the warband stuff everywhere. But aside from that, I think we're done in this area. The warband stuff, I'm thinking, probably never goes away. It's just a way to repopulate the area with commanders and stuff. So I'm gonna back out to here. And we can see about sieging them. But... I need to get a whole new army for this, I think. <laughs> because it's a different region, so it, like, starts completely over. So what I'm gonna do is see about getting just, like, a couple basic dudes. And then we'll probably wrap it up, and then tomorrow we'll be focusing on, uh... On taking this out. I don't think we'll prepare too much for it, though. Like, it's, it's even lower level than that last one was. So we'll just, uh... We'll get a few good dudes, probably take out their top dogs, and then just move on with life. Yeah, that's their fortress up there, I think. Captures... Capturing the fortress we can just do straight away, I guess. Yeah, shit, they're also here, huh? All these dudes? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the door. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go to the door. Get our, uh, our legendary piece. Another Bright Lord thing. Maybe we can get that set bonus. That's the wrong way. Because I'd like to try that, the set bonus for the increased wrath that we gain. And then the, the talent to get more wrath during combat, but we lose it all if we get hit or so. Because it could be that just a few hits and we're able to execute. When the sun shines rises when the sun rises the shadows must retreat fleeing in fear from the marching of dawn the we're not sure as the bright lord bears fires of flame the sun rises yes but from the west it rises it shines I think this is actually when the sun shines the shadows retreat the sun rises yes but from the west it rises so eastward it's night and stuff right and that leaves just uh, night? No. Beacons. The beacons never knew that its end was fleet. That can't be right. You know, that that ain't right. The... The night never knew that its end was fleet. And then bacons eastward? Fires eastward. Beacons of flame. Still no. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the rest of this is okay. Something with like the first line of these last two. I'm not uh I'm not so sure. The rest of it I think we're okay with. 
but from the west, it. I mean, the sun sets in the west. Like that. That's the thing. What are we missing here now? Fires. Shines. Rises. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're not getting it then. Never mind. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll revisit that another time, I guess. Not a clue. Beacons as a verb? I don't know. I'd like it to give me a clue of something's like at least a bit right or something like that. But man, there's just like nothing to go off of. We gotta break your thing. Okay. So where to then? Really just anywhere. Anywhere it all kind of works. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, never mind. We're still like... Okay. Uh... I just need some dudes and... <laughs> and we're good to go, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Um... Booth Deathmonger? Are you... You kind of have a hat, I guess. He's like a harpoon -y dude. Harpoon dudes are cool. He really doesn't like stealth stuff. He's just a bunch of hunters and bombs and mines and final blast. Two crossbows at once. He seems fun. Let's mark him. Let's see if I can get him on my team. Otherwise, we just got to see everything else who is what and all that oh, what the hell <laughs> what kind of a bacon is that man I'm hearing all sorts of weird stuff. I don't know about this region. I just hear like jibs fall and. Now I'm the bright lord, because I'm on fire and bright and stuff. Yeah. This ability is ridiculous. Absolutely insane, that. Ah, is that him? Yeah, that's him. That's the guy. Oh. Sir, haven't seen you since I was a lonely, lonely grunt. What a lot of time has passed. Let us reunite. Oh god. Not the best start here. I need to... 
Because stealth is out of the question. I think he's like both immune to it and it also upsets him. But I think I can still do Shadow Strike, right? I think Shadow Strike's always good to go with. Shield guy. There we go. Jesus Christ. And then execute the big guy, I guess. I guess him. Man, his targeting is just so fucking bad. Like, constantly. All the time. I really don't know how to get him just to hit an important target that I need to hit. That execute was just completely wasted. I need him on my team. Jesus. Those explosive bolts and stuff. He's not taking any hostages with them. Oh, the big guy's dead at least. If I can take care of everything else. Oh. Oh. There's apparently a grog here. When, when'd you get here? Okay. No, not the... what? Alright, yeah, sure, I guess. Don't... don't kill him. Thank you. God. <laughs> Wanted to execute the big dude because I could. Because it one-shots them. I wanted to sneakily grab this guy, but he goes for the Grog instead. Get out of here. Be safe. Alright, well, I mean... Happy to have a grog, I guess. So that's one dude that we've got. No, not Garrison. I'm looking for army, I think. Siege upgrades, that's the one. Yeah, he's the default leader. You know what, let's try Mounted Cavalry. Let's go for it. There's that. So if I can get two more dudes, we'll be super duper well off. The guy's only level 26. Do I know anything about him? Hmm. Blood Brother? Loyal Blood Brother of Unknown Captain. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what we can do with that. This dude's a bit of a pain in the ass, though. It's 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 the hat guy that I want, unfortunately. I I don't know if I have to kill him or if I can still maybe convert him. He's 26, though. I think he's got to die, but man. Uh, next up is Koth the surgeon, a a slaughter ber slaughter berserker. Um, it's got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Maybe we get a little bit of intel on him when we take him, just so we have somebody. We gotta get some wames. Get some info on people. Figure out what's what.
Or just read some documents that they have lying around. Like, uh, really any of them, I suppose. Start with you, since you're in the middle of something anyway. Golden Blood Drinker. Vulnerable to stealth, range attacks, fire beasts, mines, bombs, destroy with the final blast. Cleavers in a shield. I mean, execution. Yeah. Giddy up. Okay. And where's his event then? A lot of lot of blood dudes here. I'm noticing a bit of a trend. Appreciate the friendly. Maybe not actually that friendly. <laughs> Maybe I help the other guy out. Yeah, we'll go on foot. Look for worms along the way and see if I can figure out who his, uh... His fighting dude is. Who dat? Schoon. Schoon? The dead? Seems scary. <laughs> Seems really scary. Also level 21. What happened to the zone while I was away? This area is, uh, a bit hot and heavy. There is a worm there, though. That's by Grog still. No, not you. I need info. Quick. <laughs> Get me out of here. Who's he fighting? Snafu? A gold thief? Man, we're in the thick of it now. There's like no weaknesses for people. We just have to keep in mind their immunities and avoid them. Agile assassin guy. Yeah, yeah. Annoying to fight, but not too terrible. Alright. A little bit of a pick or poison there. Yeah, 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 hi. Man. to die and rise again. Necromancers haven't let me rest for the last thousand years. So come, boy, and let me teach you what it really means to die. I wonder, can you ever actually kill this guy? Because, like, he's undead, apparently. Like, every time you kill him, it's just like, nah, he's actually back. Seems fun. I like the spin trick that guy was doing just then. Yeah, 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 and rage by executions. It is what it is, my man. That's... What are you doing? <laughs> Talion! Talion, please! <laughs> Why? Why didn't you just climb up? Why are you like, nah, I'm actually okay with being on the ground? Oh my god. Oh! Champion! Oh! My hero, Booth Deathmonger! I don't know why they bother! You're called the Grave Walker for a reason, aren't you? Champion! 
I uh, was kind of looking forward to maybe like recruiting Skewn the Dead, but but hey, that works out too. Taking arrows in the back, he doesn't mind much. Gems everywhere. Yeah, that was a bit of a shame. Got the got the counter off to prevent death and just immediately falling again right away. Didn't even get a chance to like run away or so. No, no bodyguard. We don't have those people in this zone. That was the dude that I just recruited a minute ago. Ah, oh, fucking elf shot again. I never have elf shot. Wait, just wait. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'll probably have, like, just a bunch of gear that's all about getting elf shot on executions and such. Just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright. It's a, a checkpoint rate, apparently. I don't know which one I want of the two of these. <laughs> Come here, and for any of you who don't stand your ground, we're getting through there, and we're gutting anyone who tries to stop. You think us. snafu? So kill the mark. I mean, snafu's higher level anyway. He's my level. That works out. Oh, there's a there's a second friend back there. Whoops. I did it again. Who who are you? Just another bloody dude. Okay. Well, there's so many bloody guys here. Why? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, I do like an audience when I kill an elf lover. You ready to die a lingering uh. death? <laughs> I could get both, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm being ganged up on. <laughs> Quick, get up the tower, get up the tower, get up the tower, get up the tower, get up the tower. Holy shit. Like, I kind of want to just hang out here for a while and see what happens. You immune to stealth or anything? Not immune to stealth or anything. That's half health. Another gem. I gotta see about gem combining. Probably tomorrow. See what all I've got. I haven't looked at that in ages. Yeah. <laughs> Denied. You stop that. There were so many people in Shadow of Mortar that I just had to do this to bring down because they were just immune to so much. So it's like climb up high and drop down with a stealth kill, climb up high again, drop down again. Level 25 guys down though. So that's good. Whoops. Like one touch and no chance. Okay. Wow. Fuck you. That did so much damage. Like what? 
<laughs> he just nicked my leg and took off half my health. Uh, that's great. These tribe DLCs are really lame. <laughs> Uh. Well, hey, grat snafu for the rank up. Apparently twice. Well done. You've earned it. Yeesh. Okay, well, we got one guy at least. <laughs> Golem who flees. <laughs> I like that the title changes. <laughs> he's just a he's just a coward now. I like that. I think I wrap it up here. It seems like after a death, it's an okay stopping point. Tomorrow we can uh, push a bit more on this and see what we can do. See how it goes. I'm I'm thinking okay when we start pushing, but I don't know. I think maybe my gear is just like really like wicked old or something like that. I might have to see about killing some dudes instead of recruiting them and take a look at getting like better bits of gear and all that. Because for that dude just to swing once and, and hit me in the leg and take because I had like 40% health still and just immediately brought me down. That's not okay. So something not character. What am I looking for? Inventory. Something's weird with my gear. But like... It's only 20 health. Is that a lot? Doesn't seem like a lot. Like 5%-ish. But maybe it is what it is. Chance that the critical hit lights enemies on fire. It's kind of fun. Increased chance for a critical hit... While I'm on fire. Kill an enemy while... Oh, I see. Burst into flames myself and go for it. I... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> At some point, I gotta bring on the Bright Lord's armor. Recruit a tank level 20 or higher. We can do that somewhat easily now. And then I can upgrade it. Which will probably cost a decent amount. Several hundred easily. Maybe even a thousand plus. And then that's the Bright Lord's thing that I can wear with... Wasn't it like a bow or something that I had? Yeah, and then we can get the 50% more Wrath, maybe, and we can do some more execution spamming that way. But yeah, we gotta see... what we can do for that. Oh god, yeah, gems. Holy shit. Do some gem upgrading here. Oh, we put in like a couple nice green gems into some armor, get our max health up there. Could be good. At 25% more max health. That'll add up pretty good. Let's take it out of this experience gain one. Throw that in. That may feel a little bit better. And then I can throw that on for a bit more health. And a little more health from that too. And the ring. Captain's automatically gained three levels and recruited. Right, that's why they scale up so wildly. I forgot about that. Like I just recruited a dude and their level caught up to me so much. I forgot that this is why. Oops. Uh... Combine. There. So now four levels when recruited. Aha! And our hammer. I put that in. Okay. So fairly happy with that. We got a little bit more health now. So yay! But it wouldn't hurt to still kill some dudes and grind a little bit just different gear and see what we can get for just like... 
Like those health recovery and critical hit. Cool, nice, fine. What else can we get though? You know, stuff like that. Alternatively, maybe we'd look a little bit closer at our abilities and see about like some of these side things that we haven't gotten a lot of. Maybe some of the raid stuff we ought to be looking at because we can we can dash some raid stuff into combat. Just like an instant drain during combat. When our might is full. The ice storm. Which, if I vault over a dude and freeze them, I can maybe just go right into the Flurry of Sword Strikes. That might be really good. An Elven Light. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Let's do that. Let's go down the Wraith Tree and, and unlock some of that stuff. More tools, because when I'm surrounded, that'll help a lot. Just stun a bunch of dudes around, clear the area a bit. Takes some doing. We're suddenly into like the real game though, I think. Makes you think there must be enough things for a whole Burning Man playstyle? Oh, I'm sure. I don't know to what degree attributes can be on gear. If you can have an entire set of gear that allows you to do more damage while on fire, or if that's just a chess piece specific thing. But I'm I'm sure there's enough stuff out there to make anything work.